Hi everyone, welcome to our vlog. In this episode, because we've been down the Langoflin a couple of times already, we've decided to put together a vlog which does the entire 15 and a half mile journey from Klangoflin Basin and heading to Frankton Junction before we leave the Langoflin and go down um, onto the Montgomery Canal. And we actually do this journey over three different cruises, but we've put them all together into the one vlog. First of all, we stop at Trevor Basin for a night. Then we have three nights at Chirkbank before having another night at Paddock Bridge out near Hindford. Yes, and it's a beautiful journey. We got some decent weather. We had a little bit of rain along the way, but yeah, we had some fluffy white clouds, blue skies. We are uh, joined by our friends Tony and Karen in the first section from Langothan to Trevor Basin. And then we were flying solo after that. Uh, Ziggy's in it a bit. Yes, looking for those squirrels and also eyeing up the sheep. But, uh, oh, he's decided to take part in this video. But as you can see, he's now opting out. Yeah, he's a bit camera shy. And he doesn't give autographs or anything. So, as Ali said, we've got three journeys here and we're going to go th over two aqueducts. The Ponte, yes, the mighty Ponte Suckleth, the Chirk Aqueduct, and also two tunnels, the White House Tunnel and the Chirk Tunnel, and also two lift bridges. One at Clan Din, which is usually open, and the other one at Frongi Silty, which is closed normally. So, let's have a look. Ziggy's deciding to abandon ship halfway through just for a change. And we'll go from there. She's Ali. He's Pete. This, this is Ziga. And this is Narrowboat Soulmates. More to explore. to leave Langoflin Basin and to show you over there we got the yeah the Ice Stedford Pavilion and yeah look we've got blue skies and it's changing every five minutes a few boats in only one two three four five six of the minute but yeah we've got Tony on board
Look at that blue sky, beautiful. Only a sheep here, Ziggy. Look, come in this side. Yeah, that's him. Aqueduct done. Oh, here we go, and Ali's going to walk to the lift bridge. It's not far away. We've got a bit of a wind, so we're sort of on a slight angle. Wind's blowing. Yeah, blowing to the from the right hand side. So from the starboard, I reckon to the port and pushing us towards the bank. And up the top there, two up is it, is the Aqueduct Inn where we called in for a beer last night and it was very nice, very warm and cosy in there, very friendly people. Didn't have anything to eat, just a nice pint, well a nice two pints. Ali had one, I had another. And here's Ziggy, you must have heard him going over the Aqueduct, yes. Squealing and to get out, but uh, I don't think we're going to chance that. Him jumping over the side.
There's a magpie going over. What's that? One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, and four for a boy. That's what they reckon, anyway. Got my lamp out there, ready for the tunnel. Lighthouse tunnel. Only 191 yards long. Breezy in the tunnel. Ziggy's still searching for the elusive squirrel. Just reminded me that every time we come through this stretch, it's a pretty straight stretch, it rains. And true to form, it, yeah, it's actually raining now. Although the sun's come out as well. We're coming up to Cherk Tunnel, 459 yards long. And here we are going over the Churg Aqueduct and you can see the viaduct on the right. You have a look? Yeah. Ziggy's having a good nose, aren't you? Me? He's having a good nose. He says, yeah, I've got to have a good look. Yeah. Good boy. So yeah, we've been two tunnels. And there we are. The aqueduct and the viaduct together. And Ziggy managed to stay inside because I closed the doors at the stern here. Yes, and the blue skies return, so that's good. And as if by magic there's the sign for that pub, the bridge in. So, I might have to give that a try later. Sample their real ales. Well, at least one of them anyway. We are just leaving Churkbank. We've spent the last three nights here. It's been great. We went to the bridge in last night for a beautiful pint of blueberry ale. And we've just uh, had our car right next to us. So we've topped up with all our coal and put that on the boat through. And I think we're going to head to Paddock Bridge today. Zig, you ready? Yeah? Yes, and there's those various displays of bird. And aquatic life for the hospice there, the Midlands Air Ambulance. Great cause. And there's the two geese that have been visiting us the last two days. Hello. What's up? Hey, what's up? I think he's having a good look, aren't you, is he? What are they doing? Are they having a go at you again? And there's the poachers in. 
you can see with that bright sunshine. Yes, look, it's not spring yet, but we've got some blue skies and white clouds, so can't be bad. A little bit of a nip in the air today. I haven't put my gloves on yet, but other than that, all good. Standing on my foot, Ziggy. Eh? What's that about? I know you're called the Velcro dog because you like to stick to your owner, but that's a little bit too much even for me. Yes, it's a lovely spot here. Just coming up towards New Martin Locks and see along the way there. There, yeah. Really is. Beautiful spot. Oh, disappeared off camera. That's not a bad thing, is it? Yeah. Just the job. Certainly is a beautiful spot here near New Martin. And we're just going through bridge 12, 12 W. And that's our first lock of the day. Now that was the way that we got stuck on and there's a sheep, a dead sheep stuck on it unfortunately. One of those things.
Ali just saying there to me, she loves this stretch near New Martin, and it is, it's fantastic. Beautiful, whatever the weather, I reckon. Although the first time we came through, it was a bit dark and dismal, it wasn't raining. But yeah, look at it now. We're not even in spring yet. It's on the horizon, but not far to go. I was just thinking that looks like one of those things you see, the tree of life, doesn't it? Looks beautiful, especially that blue sky and fluffy clouds behind it. Yeah. You gotta love canal life. Ali and I, here we are, nine months I think it is in. And absolutely loving it, whatever the weather, whatever the season. Yes, I'm never going to apologise for giving you lots of fluffy white clouds, blue skies and beautiful countryside. So that's what the Welsh and English and Scottish countryside is all about. We are Bridge 9W, so I've got to keep my eyes peeled after this for some Armco or mooring rings where we can moor up. At the end of today's cruising, and then we can cruise up to the Montgomery uh, Canal at Frankton Junction tomorrow, ready for a passage down the locks between 12 and 2. That's already been booked in. You have to book in, well, usually at 48 hours before. It's been a beautiful morning. Yes. Lovely sunrise, I think Ali said. I didn't get out of bed myself. Just leaving Paddock Bridge. It's been great here, being in the middle of nowhere, lovely and quiet. Woke up to a fantastic frosty minus one degree morning, but it actually felt warm. It was gorgeous. Beautiful watching the sun from our bed. Yes, and you can see where some of the bridges have been hit by boats. Perhaps not paying quite enough attention. So plenty of boats moored up here on the long-term moorings. Lovely spot it is. So yeah, the narrow boat in there, which you can enjoy a good pint in, and we'll be returning to soon. Just had a quick word with the owner. Ali parked up the car there after she uh, walked back to pick it up. And, uh, he was okay with us parking there. That's good. one that Ziggy likes. Look at it go. Look at it go, Zig. Hey, you love that, don't you? Hey, and you see that walk? The Ministry of Funny Walks, eh? Hey? Just like Monty Python.
It was a beautiful day when we did the five-mile cruise from Clangoughlin to Trevor Basin, passing through the gorgeous Vale of Langoughlin on the way. And when we got into Trevor Basin, Pete managed to steer nice and smoothly through all the hire boats and we found a spot where we stayed overnight. It was another lovely day as we set off for a four-mile cruise from Trevor Basin to Chirkbank and we ended up finding a reasonable mooring where there's a really good towpath and nice and graveled for Ziga to walk on. So we ended up staying there three nights and of course we visited the bridge in a couple of times along the way. And yet another beautiful day as we set off for a four and a half mile cruise from Chirk Bank to Paddock Bridge near Hindford. And it was lovely here to just be in the middle of nowhere. We passed New Martin Locks on the way through and there were just sheep and their lambs everywhere. And it was just so peaceful. We loved it out here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, we'd love you to click the subscribe button. Click the bell if you want to know when the next one's out. Yes, we'll be doing another cruising video. And that'll be down the Montgomery Canal and back. So, look forward to that. Look forward to you tuning in. Thanks for now. Stay safe out there. Bye.